Hey, everybody. So I think this is going to be a research paper that a lot of people are going to be talking about. You're going to hear a lot about it, etc. Once people understand exactly who put it out and what it's saying and what it is, it's called Lore Personalizing LLMs via Low Rank Model Reward Modeling. Uh, and then it's put out by Meta AI. And then so off the top as a uh, like Disclaimer, as a researcher, as an AI researcher, I 100% think that this isn't a go and fall on deaf ears, but I'm still going to say this up front. I think that this research is very bad. I think that this is um, bad things for society overall. I think that society doesn't realize and understand yet <laughs> that it doesn't want this, which is why I think it's bad, right? Uh, I, uh, I don't watch TV. That's one of the, like, um, how do I do things? How do I have so much time? That's one of the things, right? So, I mean, flat out, like, uh, I would bomb every single pop culture test on the planet. Like, so I, I would. But so, uh, within that, uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure that this is a Black Mirror episode. Like, the, this exactly, right? There's got to be something that's a Black Mirror episode. I know there is. That is, like, around this, uh, what this is. And so, to me... The bottom line is to like why this is bad overall is uh, it's a black mirror <laughs> is the best example I can possibly think of. Like it's like, um, hey, hey, chat GPT, should I like light a, a firecracker, a lit firecracker up my bunghole? Like and chat GPT would be like, yeah, bro, you're a genius. You should do that. Like, like, like that sounds awesome, man. That sounds exactly like you, like, like your, your personality. Right. Uh, and then that's what. Uh, this is and what leads to like how exactly is the um, how exactly do we get from AI at the present to like web 2.0 and the equivalent the AI equivalent of what web 2.0 this is the start uh, and then of course it's meta that puts this out right uh, but with that being said I want to say uh, like the next statement that I'll, I'll make within this is that like I'm I would be fairly confident that meta isn't the first uh, company to research and uh, have this method I think that they're the first company to research and open source this method so I have to give meta credit there right um, I would assume it's my 100% assumption like a million percent assumption that uh, at least ChatGPT 4.0 is uh, trained utilizing something like this, like something exactly like this. Like, I, like I think that that uh, OpenAI has probably or potentially had this this technology for a few months. Uh, it would make sense uh, as to like how exactly this is, what exactly it is, and. Uh, what I mean, how it works, right? <laughs> my like my problem with it overall is it's this is super simple to implement. Like it's 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 a brain dead simple. Like so, it's just gonna spread like wildfire, right? Because it's it's so easy to implement, and there's no literally no checks, no balances, nothing preventing this from being implemented, right? And then so let's dive into this, like very specifically, like what exactly is this. Uh, dragon that I built up at this point, right? <laughs> and so uh, it's pretty straightforward. So personalizing large language models to accommodate diverse user preferences is essential for enhancing alignment and user satisfaction. Traditional reinforcement learning from human feedback or RLHF approaches often rely on monolithic value representations, limiting their ability to adapt to individual preferences. We introduce a novel framework that leverages low rank preference modeling to efficiently learn and generalize user specific reward functions user specific reward functions by representing reward functions in a low dimensional subspace and modeling individual preferences as weighted combinations of shared basic functions our approach avoids rigid user categorization while enabling scalability and few shot adaptation uh, the uh, method overall is pretty elegant right uh, like this paper is 15 pages it's like like 12 pages of math <laughs> like a typical ai research paper right but so diving into it, this is the the um, like so this is like a, this top here. This is how a typical um, reward mechanism works for a, a typical AI model, right? Which is that like it's a reward function and it's the same. It's one reward function based off of the entire model and it, it propagates via the entire model. Whereas with this, what you see here is the introduction. It's very very simple concept, right? Uh, like woo, like I, I, people always 
overcomplicate the heck out of these things, right? Because they don't understand it. And when you don't understand things, you mysticize the heck out of it, right? But so this this whole entire paper, right? This like this research paper, what we're talking about, this whole entire line of research that's, I mean, and it's literally, I think, going to open up like a billion dollar industry. And, it's, and it could potentially be like one of the biggest problems <laughs> that we, we have ever faced with regards towards humanity. I'm just putting that out there, uh, but it's uh, the the, the uh, complexity of it is not complex, right? It's it's here is the the basic framework of the reward function as it currently exists, which is a like you have an input and then a reward function, and then it's ooh, <laughs> had like two little triangles to the current infrastructure, right? And then ma magically, this is the the the, the uh, magical solution. Is uh, like engineers aren't rocket scientists and they're not Harry Potter, right? <laughs> they're, they're, they're like uh, simple solutions that work. And then like, what is the simplest way that I can do this? Uh, and then uh, get Mark Zuckerberg off my back and like, okay, here it is. Like, and then uh, <laughs> here's exactly what, what you're looking for within this, right? And then so how this works uh, overall as a framework is it just the bottom line, the simplest explanation of it is that it base it creates a reward function for you. <laughs> you become a reward function of the LLM model, which is why that's bad, right? Because like, uh, like it's uh, like uh, uh, AI can, will never not love you. <laughs> Right. And then this makes that to the extreme. Like, uh, and then we already have, um, like, um, uh, like black holes and where you just go down and you just, you know, tunnel into like rabbit holes and, 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 um, everyone has their own like tailored experience for them. Imagine every single time that you use a computer, it's literally tailored to you in every single way possible and imaginable. Like it's the, the most black mirror thing I could possibly think of, <laughs> but that's, that's what it is. And so of course Meta is interested in this overall, right? That's, I mean, again, that was my first reaction when I saw this research paper overall. Um, but so diving into it, it's, I mean, I give the medic method credit, right? And it, it works, it's good, it benchmarks high. Uh, these are meta benchmarks though, so you know, like, I, I, I mean, uh, who knows, right? They, 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 like, uh, we can't go off of meta benchmarks anymore. But um, so there's the research paper here overall. And then so uh, what does this look like in, in practice, right? That's like kind of like uh, I want to look at it in code. And then like this is where like, I mean, it, it scares me because it's like, again, like I understand there's a certain base of people that aren't going to understand how this works and, and what exactly is going on here. If you understand how this works and what's going on, like it, it's I mean, this is brain dead simple compared to a LLM model installation like like a, you're standard installation and your standard like like your like um uh your standard rlhf method or reinforcement learning with human feedback method and your training method this is simpler <laughs> like um uh, and then it's going to allow like uh, uh and like you are the reward function in this model like that's the simplest way like like like, like it's not an individualized reward you are the reward function that's what it does. And then so whatever whatever your preferences are, that's the reward function that this creates. Uh, and then so uh, looking at the code here, it's it's very simple to implement, right? And I'm using like so for like the, the whole entire model and the data set, I'm just using complete dummy data and, and the model. Like I don't need to build it out as an actual model at this point. Like I, I understand it works. <laughs> and honestly, I just want to look at the, the framework and look at it overall, right? I'm not super interested in building a model with this framework. I, like, I'm positive, like, at some, like, I'm going to have some work at some point because there's no regulations around any of these things where, uh, I'm going to, like, it would be best to utilize this particular framework, right? And it's going to, like, it's going to proliferate and it's going to, going to go out there. I'm just, I'm highlighting that up front. But so, um, Within this, I'm just creating and setting up a simple configuration of a neural network. Um, and then in this instance, I've got like number of seen users. So 100 and a number of unseen users of 10, right? So then we're going to train these 10, un we're going to train the model essentially on the preferences of these 10 unseen users. So this would create 10 individual reward functions. And then again, you are the reward function. So you are one of the 10. 
And then you would just go through, uh, and then in this instance, uh, let, let's pretend that I'm utilizing uh, ChatGPT, and then let's pretend that I have uh, a full data set of you, right? Um, and then that's the two things that we're pretending here. And then we have the lower, the the how the reward model actually works. So this is like all the reward function, uh, and it's it's just um, all math based off of you. So it's a personalized reward function, right? It's get rewards based off of your weights, like you are defined by this model off of weights, you are, you're assigned a user ID. Your user ID gets individualized weights. Your individualized weights get individualized inference. And then all of that becomes your model and, and it's super blazingly fast to train this right and i like i get that there's going to be some there's a group of people that are watching this and like what's the bad part of like what he's talking about i think like, uh i mean if, if you're on in that mindset cool <laughs> like my expectation is is that that's how the world is going to react to these things overall anyway uh i'm just pointing it out right like like um here we are in 2025 and in, in 2028 like this is like people are going to regret this um and then so uh we go through and then the, the training function it's super simple <laughs> like I just give you uh, it's all based off of that user ID right so you get assigned a user ID your data gets assigned to the user ID uh, your reward function gets assigned to the user ID uh, and then that's basically it and then I'm just uh, doing a few a few shot adaptations so a few shot examples off of you right so then like let's pretend that this is the data set so I have like um, your data set of like your prompt data uh, whether or not you voted uh, good responses or bad responses within your prompt data and then that's essentially what I'm going off of and then like how I train the model in this instance <laughs> like and then it's it's uh, uh lore fine tuning so like um not like 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 not um instantaneous but but pretty on the fly right like uh so again like I, i'm pretty sure like i get like as all things considered everything around this i have to assume that uh, meta like if meta's putting this out open source i assume that chat like uh, open ai's already had this and it makes sense <laughs> it clocks a lot with um what I've seen in use cases for ChatGPT 4.0, right? And that, like, uh, I'll just leave that there. Like, like, I like I. It is my strong suspicion. <laughs> like, like I would I would bet tons of money on it that ChatGPT is already utilizing a method like this for at least GPT 4.0. And I've seen and I know how some of you guys are using GPT 4.0. <laughs> and I'm just gonna leave that there, right? And then like, I, like, I, this isn't good for the world. <laughs> I, 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 I don't I, like, uh, but it's it's here in the world. And then it's super simple and easy, right? And then so like, I just I'm initializing with the placeholder data set, you train it for some epochs, like this is just simulated loss, right? So loss is going up in this instance, because it's just like, there's no actual like data. So that makes sense. Uh, and then you get like a few shot adaptation. So this like the, the model then is training specifically on you. So this is your reward function, right? You become the reward function, you are like, this is training loss of you, like, of, like, you are are here and then here's your weights like the the, the weights for you um and then like uh predictions and then you can run tests for you like right and then it's all like i mean you are the reward function you're you're the product like if it, it, as long as this is commercialized you're the product and this is the perfect product for you whatever the perfect product is for you this model is going to be rewarded up the wazoo to be your perfect reward why like whatever that is like good or bad overall and it and, and it will know better than you <laughs> what that perfect reward is right uh, and then so I, I think overall this is not good for the world and it's uh, like not surprising to me that meta is uh pioneering this research but again here we are again no regulations right so like there's nothing again like it, it, this is just the world as it exists um if you think this is good then just carry on and and like i mean that's my expectation of it overall anyway um so i'll leave a link to both the research paper and this collab notebook and if you like this type of content please like and subscribe thank you very much